Hey gang, just checking back in, wondering, how are you doing? Are you feeling inspired? Are you feeling run down? Have you got the Christmas blues? Only a few days left, you're sick of the traffic, and you realize on your counter sits bags and bags of chocolate chips and sugar and flour and cream. And yes, that's, well, that's what's sitting on my counter because my family wanted some real good old fashioned treats. So I'm gonna make them and I'm gonna taste some. I'm gonna try to keep it in check. Over the last couple days while I was away, I did pretty good. I had some moments where I had a real chocolate chip cookie. It was even burned. It was pretty good. Not great, but pretty good. And I had some pizza. So, not the worst, not horrifying, but I gotta get back to it. I'm actually dressed whoo, to go do some refit and get back into the swing of things. But I wanted to give you a little bit of humor in case you were missing some. So, I was reading on a website about toothpaste. Someone was making their own toothpaste cause, oh, God forbid the stuff has sugar in it. Kid you not for all you sugar Nazis. Make your own toothpaste. Now I checked my Sensodyne and I checked the Colgate. I don't see sugar in it, especially the Sensodyne. Now if the Colgate has it in there, it's masked on some scientific name I can't pronounce. But I don't know about you, I tend not to drink my toothpaste. You know, I don't squirt it in and mm, yummy snack time. So I'm not real sure I understand the concern about sugar in the toothpaste from a health standpoint. From a dental standpoint, why the H-E double chopsticks would you have sugar in your toothpaste? I would think the dental community would have some concerns about that. But that's your humor 411 and I'm off to refit.